All right, everybody, we are back and uh, it's Tuesday. Back out here on the farm project and this is the last project I've got to do out here, at least for the little while. I'm gonna show you guys what we got. It's gonna get a little interesting today, I think. This is gonna be kind of tedious, I think. Maybe, I don't know. So uh, we gotta cut a, oh, let me take my earplugs out. We gotta cut a property line along a property line or mulch through a property line. So let me show you guys what we got. All right, I'm standing on top of the mulcher here. And um, so what we gotta do is, you see these tall timber trees? On this side of them is basically the property line. And they run mostly that way, all the way down the back side of this property. Um, he, the, the owner here, just recently bought this uh, within the last year or so. So we've got to cut a property line. Now he's already come through here with his tractor and the bush hog, and he just kind of wove his way through here uh, to get back here. And he had to go around a bunch of stuff that he obviously couldn't get with his bush hog. So we're abandoning that trail and I'm cutting a whole new one. Now some places it may intersect, but we're gonna take a full cut going in and then like another half cut coming back out. And we've gotta go down to not quite the corner down there, but close to the corner. And then we're gonna cut our way back about 150 yards back to the main trail. Uh, that's back about where that big pine is over there down on the end down, you know, about, we gotta go about 460 or 70 yards that way. <laughs> it's a good little, it's a good little haul. So I'm gonna start about where this big pine is. The corner is right there. If you guys can see that little markers right there, right in front of that big pine there, that's the corner. Everything back that way is somebody else's property. Everything back that way is somebody else's property. So we're gonna stay kind of right on this side of the, the line and just try as my best to to use these trees as a marker and cut a straight as line as I can. Uh, you can see that next big pine down there is the the next the next tall timber. So I'm gonna start right here and we're gonna go that way and do what we can. So hopefully this works out okay. I may be having to get out and stand on the roof of this thing and see if I, you know, see my next landmark here. There we'll see. The tall timber gets a little closer together as we go down. So hopefully that'll make it a little easier once we get started. put you guys on the other side over here because I'm doing all the cutting over on this side I'm afraid something's gonna knock the GoPro off oh. Oh. now I'm gonna use a little bit of his path through here uh, because I have to be a little bit pragmatic about how I do this. I want to be as close to the property. He wants me to be as close to the property line as I can for as much of it as I can. But I'm only saving just a little bit right here if I stay a little bit this way. So I'm just gonna take this edge right here. Cause if I go any further in that way, I gotta take down that massive red maple there. That'll take forever. And it won't look good cause it's gonna fall in every direction. So I'm gonna just keep along this path. We'll, we'll open it, we'll take a half a cut through here, open it up. And then once I get about here, 
there's the next tall timber there then i can just start running that straight more straight line that way and that's what we'll do so you can kind of see this is a better shot of what i'm talking about you can see those timbers just run right down that line so as long as i'm to this side of those we're good because those were left when this was all logged because this is one property and that's the other so that's kind of why those are sitting there so once we get here should be able to just run most of that line so you want to make it as straight as possible but you got to be pragmatic as well <clears throat> We gotta go, gotta go a total of 600 yards. 450 going this way and then another 150 back out to the main trail. Long way to go.
to this area and this looks like a lot better ground through here but that through there was pretty hellacious through some of it but i think i got it um i had i'm gonna i'm not worried about the details right now some of that some of the stuff laying off to the side of the trail i'm gonna have to make my way back all the way back through here again because i'm gonna cut the trail that comes out at the main trail i'm gonna cut it back this way because it has to come out at a very specific spot and I want to make sure it does so I'm going to start at that spot and work my way back in because you know where that where the trail comes back in and meets this trail it that can be fudged a little bit that doesn't matter but it has to come out over there at a very specific spot so that's so I've got to once I get to where I'm gonna stop down here we probably got a I don't know maybe 200 more yards to go or so I'm gonna turn it around come all the way back through here we'll clean up anything that's laying down and uh, clean up the trail a little more and uh, we'll be done with this. So let's get her done.
I think I'm pretty close to where I need to be lined up with the, the point back out at the road. I think I'm gonna make this big pine my landmark. So I've got this marked on Onyx. Now Onyx is uh, okay for stuff like this, but it sometimes it's not exact exact. You know, sometimes you can, you know you're on your property and sometimes it's shifting over. Sometimes you're over here, sometimes you're over there. You know, it can kind of give you a general idea of where you're at, roughly speaking, but it's not like pinpoint exact with the GPS of where you're at on, on relation to the property. But if I have, if I know this pine is my, is my landmark, I should be able to see it. Uh, hopefully once I start making my trail in and, uh, and then I can just aim for it. So I'm gonna turn around, we're gonna kinda widen this out a little bit, make another half widen going back out, and then we'll come back around and start back there on the main trailhead, and we only gotta come about 150 yards, which isn't too bad, considering that was about 650. Didn't seem like that was 650, but it was. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all right, made, made it through that without too many issues, other than the only real issue in here has been so this was logged years ago and there's some really bad ruts in here, man. The, the machine's just bouncing and going up and down all over the place through those ruts. That's made it a little bit harder to mulch. Uh, honestly, if this had been a little bit of a shorter run through here, I may have done this with the Mini. I like cutting uh, trails with the Mini, um, you know, for, for this stuff, but uh, this worked great too. And so uh, we'll turn it around and go back out to the trailhead and get this done.
right, everybody. Here's our corner. This is the uh, this would be the right side line if you're from coming in from the main trail. So this is the right side. So let's take a ride down our main trail and see what she looked like. Set this there. There we go. I'm borrowing the owner side by side here. a root or something oh i have to cut that down oh cut that i'll get the saw and cut that
job folks making that new cut through there because that was like i had to actually like get about where that pine is right there and i actually had to get out and walk all the way back there through i mean the scrub was just so thick tore me up i'm probably covered in five ticks but uh yeah so i had to walk back there find that tree and then make sure i was on my line and walk back and kind of mark some other spot because you could not see that big tree from right here i mean you couldn't see nothing except what was in front of your face so i mean when you're back there standing at that tree you're like oh I, that thing's huge i should be able to see it and you can't you can't see nothing i didn't really get to be able to see it until i was at almost halfway to it at least halfway to it before i saw the just the top of it it gave me a marker but uh yeah all right well that was fun 600 yards through just about hell but we got it done so hope you guys enjoyed it that's the last project out here as far as mulching goes for now unless the owner finds something else for me to do so this looks good i'm gonna let him i'm gonna leave these bigger pines right here and let him make the decision i kind of meandered around them a little bit because i was like you know i could go to the left a little bit and take out some you know worthless brush and leave those pines and you know have some nice trees through here i try to save the trees where i can so but if you want some of those you know gone down you know we can always take them down later no big deal all right beautiful day i'm out of here i'll check you guys later hope you enjoyed it more stuff to come stay tuned i'm out bye everybody